for being here on the plaza on this very chilly spring morning, but they promise the sun's going to come out and it's going to warm up a little later in the day. I'm uh, so pleased to be able to participate in today's event to honor our colleagues in the fire department of New York. That 20 years ago, in my first stint as police commissioner, one of my great joys and honors and thrills, being quite frankly, was to lead the department, our department, the NYPD, when we celebrated our 150th anniversary. And for a year, we did have that celebration. It was a time of great celebration because it was when we had begun to turn around the crime situation in the city, a turnaround that continues to this day as the city has got increasingly safer and safer. And so when I learned of the 150th anniversary of the fire department, I understood clearly what Commissioner Nigro and his chiefs and his department, the emotions and the feelings they must be having to also be in a position to celebrate their 150 years of distinguished service to this city. Today, this morning, we're going to raise an FDNY flag on our fourth flagpole, our third flagpole here at One Police Plaza. That will fly throughout the weekend as they begin the celebration of their 150th. Uh, then I'm going to go leave from here. I'm going to go down to Engine 7, Ladder 1. That's the fire uh, house that uh, covers this premise. And Battalion 1 of the 100 Dwayne Street, uh, Battalion 1 lost two members on 9-11. I'm going to present a wreath on behalf of our department to them to commemorate uh, their sacrifice, but also to commemorate their 150 years of service to us. It's somewhat fitting in some respects that we're going to raise the fire department flag over this building. As you may recall, until the events of 9-11, fire department actually occupied a portion of uh, police headquarters next door here. And after 9-11, that is, we expanded uh, what is now our Joint Operations Center and our Real Time Crime Center. We uh, assumed possession of the building. The fire department, I think, as you're well aware, uh, since its inception in 1865, has lost 1,143 members in the line of duty. Those recently, Lieutenant Gordon, Matt, and Bellis, who died in July 2014 in the Williamsburg apartment fire. As we all well know, the department lost 343 members on 9-11, and we in our department lost 23 on that day. Uh, at the same time as the flag raising, uh, Deputy Commissioner Truman is arranging a simultaneous tweet from each precinct CO in the uh, department to congratulate their local firehouses. And over the weekend, we were encouraging our department members to visit the firehouses in their respective commands just to acknowledge the anniversary and offer up a, a, a vote of support for them. In honor of this 150th anniversary, I'd like to offer my congratulations to the fire department, City of New York. That's its official name. A century and a half ago, in the wake of the draft riots, volunteer firefighters helped fight the blazes in that riot. And from that time, they have now become the fire department or the city of New York. Up from those ashes came the best professional fire department in the nation, if not the world. For the past century and a half, the NYPD and the FDNY have been working together on the front lines to keep the people of this city safe. Our agencies are truly like brothers and sisters. Sometimes, like brothers and sisters and families, we have good nature differences, oftentimes in sports arenas, that uh, where sometimes those differences become very, uh, very apparent. But uh, when one of us is in need, the other is always there. We'll always remember the painted blue lines and NYPD flags on the fire trucks after the assassination of Detectives Ramos and Lou. Something I think that, uh, because I think about it now, uh, moves me. In some small way, I want to repay that generosity today as we raise the FDNY flag alongside our own colors. To all of the FDNY personnel here today, enjoy your anniversary, Commissioner, and I look forward to seeing you all at next year's hockey game. <laughs> Commissioner, if I may.